What's up guys? As you guys can see, I made it back over to Tar Tunnel. And did a little bit more videoing over there guys. To show you more of the store. And there's still more that you can imagine. The store is not that big, but it has a lot of stuff in it. And all of these different cases. So as you guys can see, you can see some Star Wars, Planet of the Apes, and stuff like that. The dolls. So, if it's collectible, I would like to say they have it there. Seven the dwarfs from the, what is that, Snow White. I don't know if all seven of them are there, but Star Wars. Even had some micro machines there. This is the store. This is the who's who of what. I mean, is is there? So it was fun going through. And if you're into GI Joe, hey, this is the place. Had a lot of the comic books and some of the figures there. As you guys can see, the rat fink. I can think it's an awesome store. So I don't want to talk too much through this, but I'll let you guys take a look. And you may hear me from time to time throwing a few things there. But I'll let you guys admire it for a little bit. more the G.I. Joe figures. Huge collection of G.I. Joe. All the tanks. Uh, it is a beautiful store, guys. And the next case, guys, has a lot of different things in it. Transformers, more than meets the eye. However, that slogan go. I guess when I first started out the video, they had like model kits and stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, this place is really, really packed. It's Voltron, the little homies, and they wanted like 20 bucks for that six pack back there. Some of the vintage Hot Wheels and Matchbox. So 
Well, I didn't do a whole lot, but I did pick up some stuff over there. I picked up like three cars. I try not to go over there and, and buy a lot because even though they may be older, I still like spending my buck for a car. Some of them blue cards. So I picked up this 55 Chevy Bel Air. From Racing Champion. And my dude, he decided to make it into one of his chew toys. So I definitely have to open this one up. So let's get her open. So this baby is all metal. Take a look at the inside. Pretty nice. Opening hood. So you can get a better look at her. Let's turn the wheel. I do have one question though. I don't know if I just hate the way the, the mirror is on the on the car. It should be a little bit better than what it is, as you guys can see. But it's nicely detailed. I like the colors. The hood is a little bit misaligned. Uh, I hate opening parts. But you got to see the tail lights are done. Nice looking front end. Take a closer look at the, the spare tire. Metal base, rubber like tires. I love the way that front end looks. So next guys. Is this 57 Chevy? from Hot Wheels. So let's crack open. And take a look at it. Yes, it's nothing special. I mean, metal body, plastic base. As always, guys, you know Hot Wheels, how they roll. Not a whole lot of detail going on. So put on the wheel. Like the color scheme, it's pretty cool.
I just love my old cars. Anywhere from the 30s to the 50s. Those are some of my favorite cars. Cars were made better back then. Anyway, you can go home and work on them yourself without having any issues. And that's one thing that made these cars great, that, that you can modify them at home. Well, you can modify the new ones too, but you had to put them in a shop and do that. But now, when you can take an engine apart at home, put it back together without no issues, that is a good car. And that is a quality car. Now the cars today, all computerized. All right, so that was this one. And I have another 57 Chevy. Steel stamp series. Another Hot Wheels. Again, metal body, plastic base. I want to say chrome interior. Spectre, I like this, the paint job on this. But man, they should have did some. Uh, this is one of these cars you need to do a little detailing on. If you got the front looking pretty good, why not make the back look just as well? Come on, Hot Wheels. Step up your game. So guys, that's my little trip back over to Time Tunnel Toys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what I showed you from this store. I think the next time I'm going to try to evaluate this area. Can't talk now. Next time I go back over, may try to video a little bit more. I think I've pretty much covered all of the stores so far. But, uh, you know, I may have missed some things. I mean, there's a whole comic book section that they have at this store, if anybody into comic books. So, guys, as always, if you're new to my channel, thank you so kindly for checking me out. Hopefully you come back and see us again. And, again, I want to welcome all new people. Thank you. If you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs downwards. I'm just happy you're here to check me out. And hopefully you come back. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure your notification is turned on. That way you know that I upload another video. And I would like you to check it out. And also, guys, if you leave me a comment, check out some of my friends in the comment section. You'd be glad you did. I guarantee it. All right, guys, until the next video, you guys keep hunting. Deuces. I'm out of here, y'all. I'm Gary, and this is Gary's Diecast Collection. Peace, guys. Bye now.